guys, it's Brian, and I'm going to show you how to unlock the Mac 10 in Battlefield Hardline. Now, this uh, unlocks one half of the weapons you need for the men's in the hood trophy. You need to unlock the Mac 10 and then the double barreled shotgun and then get 25 kills with each of them and then you'll get that trophy. But to unlock the Mac 10 is kind of a complicated process so I kind of want to walk you through it here and what you see here is gameplay where I'm getting a uh, camera coin. It's one of the uh, uh, things you need as far as the objectives to get this uh, weapon. So let's go first start off what you need to do. In order to unlock the Mac 10, you need to play as the professional class. And then you have to get the to the professional assignment 2 patch. So in order to do that, there's uh, a few steps that you need to do. First is you need to obviously complete the professional assignment 1. So to do that, what you're going to have to do is get to the professional bronze star uh, bronze service star 2. And to get the uh, professional bronze service star 2, you just have to level up the class. So you just have to keep playing the class, play matches, and the more points you get, the faster you're going to level that up. Now once you get to bronze service star 2 in the professional class, you have to unlock the patch itself and get the reward. And you do that by killing 10 people with snipers and then 5 people with the laser mines. At this point, you will now have the professional assignment 1 patch. And now all you need to do is get professional assignment 2. Now to do that, you have to get the bronze service star 7. So you're going to have to level up the class up to level 7. And once you've done that, you have to get the reward in the patch ultimately by killing 25 people with snipers, which is not very difficult, and 5 camera coins. Now the camera coins is what's kind of tricky, and that's the, the gameplay you're seeing here on the screen. And once you've uh, done that, you'll have Professional Assignment 2, and you can now equip the Mac 10. Now, I want to talk to you about the camera coins, because that's probably the trickiest aspect of this whole thing. Obviously, up to this point, there was just a lot of grinding, so it's going to take you many hours to get to uh, the Bronze Service Star 7 and whatnot. But to do the camera coins, you have to buy the and equip the camera option. It's a gadget, and you want to equip that. And then you want to use the uh, camera, place it on a ground near an objective, near somewhere you know where a bunch of enemies are going to be. Now, I'm playing the blood money uh, game mode because everyone's going to run into the, uh, the money loot in the, in the center of the map. So what I do is when I start, and as soon as I spawn, I go and I take the uh, uh, fastest transport I can to get to the money pile. And then I place a camera on the ground facing a direction that's going to cover a large area uh, near where the money pile is. Now you'll spawn with two uh, cameras so you want to go ahead and place a second one somewhere nearby as well. Ideally you want to cover the entire area where the money pile is at. Uh, if it, the money pile is in a tight space, a very small room, it's a lo lot more difficult because a lot of people will throw grenades and they're killing your cameras. But if you find a money pile that's kind of got, got some space around it area. As you can see here, I have three. Uh, two on the left side, and then there's one to the right side. And they're both pretty far away from the money pile, so grenades aren't going to destroy them. But you only start with two of the cameras. Uh, when you die and respawn, you can place a third one. You cannot place a fourth one, however, because a fourth one will remove one of the three that you already currently have placed. So just go do a blood uh, money match place two cameras uh, near the pile, uh, looking in at the pile where you know a bunch of enemies are going to be, and then when any of your teammates kills an enemy in range of that uh, camera, you will get the uh, intel assist, and that's how you know whether or not you got the, uh, uh, the uh, re met the requirements to get the camera coin. Now what, what happens typically in a normal blood money match is the first half of the match takes place at the blood, uh, the money pile here, and then a lot of times the second half will take place in the uh, where your vault is. So what I'll typically do is I will then go and place a third camera, another camera near the vault, and that will remove one of the three that are here, but we'll still have good coverage here, and then we'll have coverage at the vault. Again, your teammates have to be the one that actually gets the kill. You can't farm it yourself. You can't place the camera, hide out and uh, kill the enemy yourself. So what I do is I place the camera and then I just kind of hang back 
so my teammates can take out the enemies that are in that area. I don't want to be the one to take them out. I want to make sure my teammates are there. And of course, I'll stay in this area because by doing so, my squad mates can spawn on me and they'll always be here. So I think I got about 20 or so um, camera intel assists. And you only need 10. Uh, in order to get this coin, you do need to get 10. And then you'll have to do it through five matches. You cannot get many, uh, duplicate coins in the same match. You can only get up to one uh, camera coin, unfortunately. But that's all you really need to do. Just make sure you spread them out. Make sure they're not near the actual objective. If you want to do it in another mode, you can. I just find blood money easy because everyone always goes to the money pile. Uh, it's a really easy way to kind of get, make sure enemies are going to be funneled into where you want them. Now you see here I'm kind of at the vault and uh, hoping to get the last of my uh, camera thing here. My intel assist. When you see intel assist plus 25, that's how you know you got it. So I have two cameras at the money pile and the one at the vault. And uh, we'll get the, uh, the coin momentarily. So it's really simple. Um, it's just really knowing how to do it. I probably played a few matches before I really kind of figured out the strategy. And there was the camera coin. It just popped. So I'm going to do that uh, four more times. So you need a total of five of those through five games. And at that point, you will then have uh, earned the Professional Assignment 2 patch. And now you can equip your Mac 10 Now in a separate video, I'll show you how to do the double barrel shotgun as well. But just to recap for this, you need to get the Professional uh, Bronze Star Service uh, 7. And you do that by uh, completing the first assignment, assignment one. And then you get the reward by killing 25 people with snipers and earning the five camera coins. And at that point, you just need 25 kills with the MAC-10. And uh, that's one half of the Men's in the Hood trophy. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to see more Battlefield Hardline, anything pertaining to trophies, go ahead and click the video here at the bottom of the screen. And of course, as always, please hit that like button. It would help me out a lot. And subscribe.